He's coming with me. It's girls like you who get men like me locked away from our wives in the first place. What does that mean? Pause. You were the king's mm. whore. He's dead. You're nobody now. I you can be married to her. You can be sleeping with her. But you're never going to get in between us. Not trying to, buddy. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Exactly. <laughs> this is our world. Our world, mother. And that's what love is. Real love. Are you ready? Mad man, today we are diving back in. I'm enjoying the season so far day to day just peeping into these lives of these people has just been an incredible journey if you want to see more episodes of Mad Men, make sure you go check out the patreon man we should be ahead maybe even finish the show by the time you guys on youtube are seeing this probably not finished but at least a season ahead but boy wants to go full-time youtube man help me get there help me get there tell me what you want to see next i will react to it as i said there's going to be a ton of stuff that's on patreon it's not probably never going to come to youtube as well it's going to be anime reactions over there there's going to be tv shows that probably would never come to youtube this is something things that are a little bit more too spicy definitely find those reactions over there and you also know that we are providing these reactions early as well so without no further ado let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review <laughs> 25 on clay by knockout. Liston is favored for a reason. Cassius Clay is scared. Of what, pray tell? He had an elevated heart rate before the last fight. Liston has the weight, and he's never been knocked out. Sonny's old. He's experienced. Don, got your ticket. I was just saying I think Clay'd make one hell of an admin. Ali versus right. Liston was in New York? I didn't know I that. On Liston. Joining us for a little pre-fight steak and cocktails at the Palm? Absolutely. Samson, I team. In my office. A dinner reservation before the bout for Mr. Sterling and me anywhere but the Palm. I don't know why everyone cares so much about it. If I wanted to see two Negroes fight, I'd throw a dollar bill out my window. I'm wow. I'm late. That's. But you're not. Good work so far. Extremely what racist. Do you want me? <laughs> Behind the desk. <laughs> okay, we're just going to pass over that. <laughs> I'm finally doing what I should have done years ago. Phillips Olsen something, probably. But I'll need you. I want to form an agency that specializes in women's products with you as my creative director, right? <laughs> I have some very, very... sort of a little under the table, but very high-level talks with the people at Tampax. A few percent market share. I mean, they're really up there. Plus that queer Beljo Lee's been barking up my tree. Plus, train's leaving the station, honey. Get on board. Woo-woo! <laughs> with a lot of liquor on it. I'm in my office, at home. So you already told Gray? Doc, did you lose your job? Peggy, this is good. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little inspired by what Draper did. It's tough to get a credit line. So, what do you have so far? I know it's not a diamond necklace, but I did spend some money on those cards. I don't know whether this to take this seriously bro. because I suspect you've been drinking. Well, you're wrong. Suspect? I what, with that Mark? He's another one. Doc, you are a valuable account man. You have a bright future. I need to see you, babe. Don't do that. Peg, I'm falling apart. Don't you know you're the last thing that made me feel good about myself? Pull your hands out of your panties. You've been farting in here. <laughs> you got a call while you were in the toilet to the direct line. Stephanie from California, no last name. She says it's urgent. That woman is going to die and not even know what killed her. Doing something special for your birthday? Mark is taking me to dinner. Form of the 12 Caesars. Ooh. How old are you? 26. Today. Well, you're doing all right, aren't you? Well, hello. <laughs> Did I hear it's your birthday? It is. Today. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, it's an incredible feeling having this baby kick me. 
Is it any different than living with Pete? I always assumed that, but it turns out it's true. Are you going to watch the fight? Oh, yes. My father loves blood sport. <laughs> Mr. Draper's looking for you. Happy birthday. You know, 26 is still very young. If only you knew, Judy. Have fun. Yeah, I looking a, a little worried, dear Pete. I want to see those two men pound each other. <laughs> Cynthia's at yeah, the that... restaurant. Where'd she go? Uh, what about Jennifer? <laughs> oh, don't go in there. Hella sus, bro. I was just on my way out. Did you get California? Why don't you talk to Joan and get rid of her? No. Joan knew exactly what I needed and made sure that I got it. So, where are we on Samsonite? We'll have something to show you in the morning. Well, I kind of was on my way out. Let me just see where we are. We thought that Samsonite is this very rare element, this mythical substance, the hardest on Earth, and we see an adventurer leaping through a cave. I thought we could drop one off the Eiffel Tower with a countdown, like the moonshot, and show how it doesn't break. The government has prohibited us from doing things like that, Peggy. They feel that it is not in the public interest. I gave you more responsibility, and you didn't do anything. That's actually what they did. I <laughs> just read it on Google. <laughs> I don't care if you work 10 seconds. If you bring me something, I like. We're going to do this right now. Oh, I know you have plans. You're going to call me from a bar with an idea? You think L... I'm going to change it anyway. Excuse me? I got drawn into his web. It's going to be a while. Uh, a while like soon, or a while like I should cancel? It shouldn't take too long. He's going to the boxing match. He's going to Maine? You can watch it on closed circuit TV in the movie theaters. We got Where the oh, hell was a the boxing match was in Maine? Look, I'm the only one who can help him with this. And the sooner I get off the phone, the sooner I can come. Just hurry, will you? She's going to be a few minutes late. A surprise on top of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a big mouth. I'm the greatest. Not if you have to say it. Turns out he was. <laughs> Do you like the airplane? Liston just goes about his business. Works methodically. Play, he'll dance, and talk, throw a few until he's wiped out. Three classes of suitcase. Featherweight, middleweight, heavyweight. But how do you do that on TV? What's the story? You don't like it? No, I love it. That's great. That's what we should do. <laughs> he's like, I'm not going to waste my time trying to tell you, no, it's not a good idea because I want to go. <laughs> it's almost an hour. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave any minute. Did you at least have something? You have to get down here. You have to get down here right away. But you have to, okay? You know what? Just go to my apartment and wait for me. We can eat there another time. But Peggy, I've got your whole family here for a surprise dinner, okay? And the only way you can make it worse is by not coming at all. I'm coming right now. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave if that's all right with you. Not so sure about it. I mean, every time we get into this, we abandon the toughness idea. Maybe there was something to the elephant. Are you gonna say I'm something, sorry. Peggy? Because you need you have to. Place to be. Yes. Unlike Maybe you. Tap your foot so I get the message. It's my birthday, and I'm pretty sure I ruined everything. Why the hell didn't you tell me? I don't know because I thought this would take a second. Oh, I'm so sick that I ruined her birthday. Do you know when my birthday is? I was your secretary. <laughs> By the way, you are 20. Something years old. It's time to get over birthdays. Kind of true. I'll do it myself. She's not gonna go. <laughs> the fact that you're calling means you haven't left yet. I'm not gonna be able to make it at all. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but no one asked you to do this. Damn. You said you never had a surprise. This is your mother speaking. Hello, Ma. I just want you to know that we're all here. Me, Anita, Jerry, the roommate, you march in here. I can't. Okay, could you put Mark on the phone? Now he's making excuses for you. I don't know how many nice boys you think I'll line it up for you. You should be grateful. Okay, goodbye. Hello? I'm sorry I ruined this, and I'm sorry you had to spend the evening with my mother. You know what? She's right. She's never even had a job. How the hell are you mad at me? Because you used my birthday to get in good with a bunch of people who drive me crazy. What's the point of doing anything nice for you? 
Jesus, you even sound like my mother. I'm going to enjoy my dinner, and you enjoy your work. I thought you would stay there. Forget it. No, what? You want to do this right now? Do what? Fine. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Happy birthday. That's it? Yep. Good night. Hello? <laughs> Peggy! Yo, that I'm was... Fine. I mean, that's true, but... You, you also gotta understand, though, wait. Peggy should have left. <clears throat> and go. I mean, she doesn't feel like she's gonna lose her job any... In, I, I mean... Anyway, because her job is kind of like secured in a way. So she could have gone. Don wouldn't. It's just that she never told Don. But at the same time, it's like, you know, Don is trying to, you know, get this Samson. I think that they got two weeks until their pitch. Right. So it's like there's really no rush. It's just that I was feeling like Don was was Don was kind of like at the point where he was just like trying to to figure things out if you will like he was trying to figure things out but he was also like keeping her hostage because he doesn't really have anybody to go home to or to you know, you know what i'm saying like he doesn't have a family to go home to so i thought he was kind of like subconsciously trying to keep somebody else there for that so now this is my fault well it's not my fault you don't have a family or friends or anywhere else to go Go run to him, like in the movies. You don't have to be here. I do have to be here because of some stupid idea from Danny, who you had to hire because you stole his other stupid idea because you were drunk. Here's a blank piece of paper. Why don't you turn that into glow coat? Are you out of your mind? You gave me 20 ideas, and I picked out one of them that was a kernel that became that commercial. No, it was something about a kid locked in a closet because his mother was making him wait for the floor to dry, which is basically the whole commercial. It's a kernel. What, are we going to shoot him in the dark in the closet? That's the way it works. There are no credits on commercials. But you got the Cleo. I give you money, you give me ideas. And you never say thank you. That's what the money is for. And honestly, it is absolutely ridiculous to be two years into your career and counting your ideas. Everything to you is an opportunity. And you should be thanking me every morning when you wake up, along with Jesus, for giving you another day. Gee, it's going a bit far. Oh. I'm sorry about your boyfriend, okay? You went a little too far there. I don't think I would have... I, I mean, a lot of the stuff that he was saying was very true. But then that ending was... That was harsh. You've got nothing to say. Sure you do. No, it's personal. We have personal conversations. No, we don't. And I think you like it that way. I know I do. We're supposed to be staring at each other over candlelight, and he invites my mother? It's not my fault. I guess I'm back to square one. Single. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell the difference anymore between something that's good and something that's awful. Well, they're very close. But the best idea always wins. And you know it when you see it. Keep banging your head against the wall. If that happens. Not like everything else in my life. <laughs> I mean, I, I know what I'm supposed to want, but it just never feels right. Well, at least he admits to it. I didn't know you were in Korea. Very briefly. I hate dating. I'm terrible at it. You'll find someone. You know you're cute as hell. And don't exactly stop and stare in the streets. Do you want that? not what you were supposed to say. Everybody thinks I slept with you to get the job. They joke about it. It's not because you aren't attractive. I have to keep rules about work. I have to. Be an attractive girl, Peggy. Yeah, she is. Not as attractive as some of your other secretaries, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. You don't want to start giving me morality lessons, do you? My mother thinks you were responsible because you were the only person who visited me in the hospital. She hates you. <laughs> That's crazy. Come on. Nope. Get up. 
No. Fix is in. Ali was just that good, bro. Hey, no one goes down like that. Oh, the man just said. I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if you guys know. I will show you guys one of the most famous pictures. This picture right here is a legendary okay of Ali standing over Sonny Liston when he won the fight this crew this dude is a crazy person bro doc he's lost his mind draper a little present doc that's disgusting Come on pull up your pants i'm not going anywhere without you oh you're going to have to go somewhere baby baby i need you so bad what's going on Go lay down. You don't belong in here. So, Peggy, I see you're not alone. Guess when screwing me couldn't get you anything, you had to go back to Draper. Doc, let's go. No. Turns out she's just another whore. Wow. Hey! It, oh, that missed entirely. Stop it! You're both drunk! You know, I killed 17 men. What the hell? That fist, though. <laughs> Let's go. As I've told you guys before, like earlier, I told you guys that I wouldn't mind seeing Don and Peggy together. I got rid of him. Are you okay? I, uh, I never thought. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know why I was with him. It was a confusing time. Stop. I actually think they would make a good couple actually to be honest and i felt like this he was season was kind of like pushing towards that a little bit i actually do believe that they would make a good couple i don't i think so i don't think he would be able to discard her so easy like he does with the rest of the other women and i think both of them love their work so much i think it would work because they work in the same building i think it would work I'm telling you this right now. That's one of the the most comfortable places to fall asleep is <laughs> in a woman's lap. I don't know what it is, but their legs just seem way warmer. <laughs> I kind of like where this is going. I really do because, as I said, I want these two to be together in some capacity. I really do. It's me. She's gone. Yeah. I know. Let's tell her. I call. I was. You want to talk to me? I'm coming out. I'll make the arrangements. No need. She left her body to science. I'd like to stay here if that's okay with you. Take some time off from school. Of course, it's fine. She's in a better place. Well, trust me, if you have never seen a man break down in tears, <laughs> let him lose somebody very they love. Important to me died. The only person in the world who really knew me. Yeah, he got on his, yeah. <laughs> you should go home. A little something right here, Don. <laughs> A little something, something. She go back to the. <laughs> she went back to her office to lay down. It's very interesting, man. Oh damn! Drop and give me twenty. <laughs> you look fresh. Did you go home? That's first up. Come over here. I think you have to know the photo. It's on the front page of every paper. It's historic. I, I told you <laughs> that. Because the slogan will say so. An iconic photo, dude. Why are you shitting on this? I'm tired. It's good. It's very good. I really am looking forward to, to seeing this relationship develop. 
I don't know. I, I just got that feeling. Listen, man. That's why I told you guys, like, when I watch TV shows, I pay attention to little cues that will tell you of stuff that's coming that might be coming. And I felt like this. That's why I talked about it. I don't remember if it was earlier in this season at the end of last season where I was like, I would love to see a relationship between Don and Peggy because I think they would work. I think their relationship would work because because of the type of personality that they are i think they would work because peggy loves the work she does she doesn't want to let go of that right she doesn't want to let go of that even though i think it would be better for her to to not be at work you get what i'm saying but this will also they can complement each other at work if the two of them are together because um you know at the very least, I don't know, because Don is Don, right? He's Don. You know, if he gets with Peggy and he cheats on Peggy, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be really pissed at him because he, he should have all of that stuff out of his system. Something that messed up the last relationship big time. You got to learn from that and move forward and be better. You can't be the same person. Just keep on doing the same things over and over again and expect things to change like you gotta be different and i and if you do betty like this if you do betty like that not betty if you do if you do peggy like that i'm gonna be really mad at him because i've kind of like you know what i'm saying moved forward for the most part overall for his character and you know He's gotten a lot of chances with me, but the, the thing about it is that with with Don, I understand his flaws. I understand Betty's flaws as well. Is that that relationship ended probably in like season one, going on early season two? I, I called it. I was like, this relationship is not going to last for this um, show. I called it. And it happened. So, for me, when I watch a show like this and I see how these characters are, how they treat each other, how they go about dealing with each other and stuff like that, I pay attention because there are certain things that I see that I was like, ah, oh, it would be cool if that happened. It would be cool if this happened. It would be cool if they go in this direction or whatever. And lo and behold, it seems like they are pushing the don peggy union if you will shipping them because i shipped them early early on um as well and i was like ah oh, these two might be you know what i'm saying good together um that's not to say that they would be perfect for each other but i think that they would be good for each other relationship wise um and i think it would work and you know I was like, ah, oh, Duck is in the picture. Plus, she has a boyfriend now. It might not happen. But in one episode, they completely tore that apart and brought Don and Peggy closer together. And that's cool. I hope he doesn't look at her as another lay because that, that wouldn't be good. Because you hear her talking about how she don't feel like she's as attractive as, you know, the rest of the girls and, and, and stuff like this, it, you know. And to me, if you heard me earlier on in the episode, I was saying, why am I so attracted to Peggy, right? And there's reasons behind that, right? Not only she's a very attractive girl, um, you can look beyond the way how she dresses. And I think that's what's really her demeanor overall that really attracts me to her. She still remains, she has learned to remain feminine from learning from Joan because Joan is the one that actually made her stop acting so damn masculine at work, right? There's still that femininity that comes through um, and there's certain things that, you know, she can handle and there's other things that she can't handle because she remains um, in her femininity at work, which is something that she had to learn because she was becoming very like the dudes, you know what I'm saying? And it, was, it wasn't attractive at all. You know, and I talked about it in earlier seasons as well. But in this, since she's learning, she's become better. 
She's learned how to carry herself a lot better. And yeah, she poured her heart out into this episode. You know what I'm saying? Of telling Don how she was really feeling about the entire situation and stuff like that. Even though Don was dropping the truth bombs on her and be like, you know what I'm saying? You got to work your way up. You know what I'm saying? And some of the time, especially coming from somebody, as we've learned from an earlier episode, that Don, what the persistency that that he had to have to get to where he is today, to get his ideas to be heard today. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like you never thanked me. Listen, <laughs> trust me when I tell you this, that that is so true. That is so true. Don't go on job expecting people to tell you thanks because you're getting paid. You're getting paid. This is, it's not charity. You're getting paid to do a job. Don't expect people to thank you. You know what I'm saying? Don't expect it. If it, if it happens, it happens, but don't expect people to thank you. Okay. There's a lot of thankless jobs out there. Okay. A lot of thank thankless jobs. So you can't expect. So throughout all of that, you know, Don was dropping the truth bombers. I think he went a little bit too far at the end there. You know, that he was like, you should be thanking me every time, every day you get up to do this job. That was a bit too far. That was a bit too, you know what I'm saying? Um, a little bit too conceited in my, in, in a way. Like he didn't have to go that far to prove a point, but you know, he was drunk. We'll just chalk it up to that. It was still wrong, nonetheless, but yeah that kind of pushed her over the edge she started you know to cry it, it was harsh you know and she's you know it's not what she wanted to hear and i think in some ways too peggy as always liked don has always looked up to him and i think mainly because of um of how you know he is you know, she, you know, she, everything that she, she, Donna's always been the one that promoted her, that always pushed her and kept her there, you know, doing it because, she, you know, he believes in her. It's just that he's always given her tough love in a way. Um, another thing too, in this episode, they grew closer because they went through something together. She broke up with her boyfriend is probably you know she's saying that didn't understand he didn't really understood her he kind of went through the same thing um you know i'm hoping that he doesn't go into this relationship if they do end up in a relationship in a lot i hopefully he tells her what's going on and don't go through the same thing again with that he went through with betty because you have to tell the truth tell her sit her down and let her know hey this and this happened you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that big a deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, I just want you to know that this is it. Because if you find out in the future that this is what it is, I don't want you to think that, hey, I'm a liar, this and that and whatever. And then, then the whole cycle starts over again. Like, I, I don't want it. So I think you should get that out in the open with her. Doesn't need to tell nobody else. Just tell her if you're going to get a relationship with her. Tell her. Let her know. That's all I'm saying. But... We all know that might not happen, but in any case, hopefully he, he does tell her. So they grew closer together. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's one of my favorite things to do is to 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 put my head in my girl's lap, like, and she she doesn't mind it. Um, she does the same with me sometimes, but I don't know if it feels the same way for them. Maybe it does. She's never actually fallen asleep in my lap, so I don't know. Maybe it's just different. She's never she's never really fallen asleep in my lap maybe it's because i'm constantly moving like like you know what i'm saying because she's laid on my lap before and and, and my leg fell, fell asleep and shit <laughs> like it's you know what i'm saying i i, I guess i don't know i don't know it, it's weird it's weird i'm i just felt like it's one of the most comfortable places to be um and i love the fact that she will play in my hair as well that's nice <laughs> thank you <laughs> anyways guys um Mad Men season four, man. It's been going strong. Hopefully they do develop something. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys love the content, man. Leave a like, leave 
a comment please like and comment the videos guys i get like one maybe two comments on these madman videos man and it's like a hundred of y'all watching the damn thing it's like y'all go watch the full reaction and then y'all forget to comment on the videos it's weird man help a brother out all right see you guys next time peace <laughs>